It's been more than three weeks since the Earth began to open up in the southeastern corner of Hawaii's Big Island, and rivers of molten rock from Kilauea began to flow across the surface of the volcano's east rift zone. In that time, nearly two dozen fissures have opened in and around the Lalani Estates and Lanapuna Garden subdivisions in Okay, sisters and brothers, this is God's gift. Um, I wanted to bring you guys um, a vision that I had several months back, and I put it in a video, but I cannot find it. But in this vision, I was standing in Southern California. Um, I felt like it was San Diego, and I was looking out across the ocean, uh, a little to my left, uh, but not much. And I was looking out, and I saw a huge red explosion. And I was telling um, my sister Della about this, and she says, was it a nuclear explosion? And I said, no, I don't feel like it was nuclear. I felt like it was a volcano. So now we have these volcanoes going off, and I'm like, Lord, you did show me this. And a few days ago, well, actually, um, right before all this happened, uh, the Lord told me, uh, I, I knew that there was going to be something going on with these volcanoes. So when they started erupting, I went directly to, um, these videos about Hawaii because I knew that that's what the Lord was showing me. But then I received, um, another vision and what he showed me was these volcanoes that are going off in Hawaii. He told me, he says, these are minor judgments compared to what will happen to the United States. And he showed me a rock skipping across the waters and it hit the land and it was the United States. And he says, this is how these volcanoes will, will go. They will, they, it was like, he showed me this stone, just like you would skip a stone across the waters and it hit the land. And he says, and it's going to hit and it's going to be so powerful and so mighty that these things that we see here are nothing compared to what we're about to see. So last night, um, I, I had a very, I've been, a, oh, sisters and brothers, I know you guys are probably going through things too, but I've been getting so attacked through my health and that's why a lot of videos have not been up, but the Lord is prompting me right now to put up videos. I woke up this morning and I heard the wolves are coming on Sunday. I heard this Saturday uh, uh, early in the morning, and I was like, the wolves are coming Sunday. I didn't know if he meant today. I don't know, sisters and brothers. Today is Sunday, day before Memorial Day, and I'm just looking for the next several days. Um, high alert. We all know that there's something coming, but I wanted to show you guys something with these volcanoes. Like this one here, it reminded me of a man, reptile man. Look at the, it looks like reptile skin on it, blowing fire. And we know that, um, you know, the Antichrist is coming. And I feel like this is a, um, a warning to us that, this stuff is ready to happen here on our land. This is what the Lord is showing me, that these things that are happening in Hawaii are coming to our land. I'm going to have you guys listen to some of this and listen to what they have to say. Ah. Lava flows have spread over 2,372 acres. 3.7 square miles or 9.6 square kilometers, according to the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory. Within all those acres consumed and encased in new layers of rock were dozens of homes and other structures, cars and other properties. I spent 20 years in this neighborhood building people's dreams, builder in Lalani Estates resident Peter Masick told the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Over 2,000 people have been evacuated from the area where the fissures erupted and resulting lava flows now stretch for miles until they reach the ocean. Lava is entering the ocean in at least two locations, where it creates new hazards in the form of lays with hydrochloric acid and tiny glass-like particles floating in resulting clouds of steam. Sisters and brothers, um, we know that the Lord says that there will be blood and fire and pillars of smoke. And that is what I continually see when I look at these videos. Um, listen to the rest of this. The scene in Hawaii's Puna region shows no signs of subsiding. 
Just in the past 24 hours, the USGS reports a new flow emerged from a pool of lava within Lalani Estates. Meanwhile a separate flow from another nearby fissure continues to advance on the Puna Geothermal Venture Power Facility, which produces 38 megawatts of electricity for the island. The threat from Hawaii Kilauea volcano also continues to extend beyond Puna. The main summit of the volcano continues to be the... Um, I had to stop it here because the Lord, um, when I was watching the lava come out of the craters, he was telling me, um, he reminded me of what he said to Jeremiah, Jeremiah, what do you see? And he says, I see, I see a pot boiling over. And he said, you see right, Jeremiah. And so this is what I'm seeing, sisters and brothers. He's like bringing scripture to my mind as I'm watching these videos. So watch the rest of this. Center of potentially damaging earthquakes, measuring mostly in the 3.0 to 5.0 range on the Richter scale. The volcano also periodically spews large clouds of ash and even rocks. The ash has led to red alerts for aircraft and ash fall advisories due to the particles that can be carried by winds to other parts of the island, where they may cause respiratory problems. It remains unclear how long Kilauea's violent outburst will continue. Look how high that lava is shooting up, sisters and brothers. Look how high that is shooting up. Blood and fire and pillars of smoke. Look at how, look at how high these piles of lava are. The summit has been pretty active. There's been over 300 earthquakes in the past 48 hours, and at least a dozen earthquakes that have been between magnitudes 3 and 4. Yesterday, the largest was a magnitude 4. Earthquakes are occurring as a result of continued subsidence at the summit, and we have seen five feet of down dropping at the summit uh, just around the Holly Mountain Mount Crater area. Those, uh, the, the deflation is also causing rock falls. There's more uh, ash plumes that are going up into uh, up above sea level to like above 10,000 feet. So three of those occurred yesterday, and we are keeping an eye on that. There have been lots of smaller explosions from the summit as well. Okay, these are sorry. These are some of the uh, pictures that I took of the volcanoes. This reminded me of uh, blood and the cells going through the blood so i took some of these pictures here and it's just like you know god is god is showing us so much through these things sisters and brothers i mean look at the fire i i will consume the land with fire look at the explosions happening here um the lava just unbelievable devastation um you know <sighs> just i can't believe look at that you know and and people think that nothing is happening just because this is in another place god is clearly speaking to us he was showing me i'm going to really go through these pictures really uh fast because i have so many but this was where i saw the cavity the crater boiling over and this is where the lord said about jeremiah and I took a bunch of pictures of different things, like I said, and everything I saw was just scripture everywhere. You know, I mean, this is, this is God showing us, you know, things are at an end. And, you know, to me, this looked like an evil person's face, like the mouth here. There's like the mouth and the nose and like the brain and... I mean, I, I know it sounds crazy, but this is what I'm seeing in all of this that God is bringing us. Um, and notice that these flows are heading uh, to the east towards the United States. Um, I'm just like, I can't get over how amazing God shows us things. And yet people still don't want to believe that we're here. 
Joel chapter 2, verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound the alarm on my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. A day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, as the morning spreads upon the mountains. A great people and strong hath not been ever like, neither shall any more after it be in the years of many generations. Verse 30, And I will show wonders in heavens and the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. Be ready, sisters and brothers. Stand up. Know that our Lord Jesus is coming. He's telling us that the wolves are coming on Sunday, whether it be today. I don't know. Uh, we know things are, are coming to a very, very... Uh, a critical point. My daughter, if you guys have not heard her dream she had, I have it posted on my site. It's hard to hear because I recorded it and then put it on. If you have earbuds, listen that way because she got a word that says, uh, you have until June, you have until then. And that was two years ago. I believe it was two years ago. So look up sisters and brothers. We're, we're nearing the end. Um, know that our Lord is standing beside us no matter what happens. I love you all. This is God's gift. Be blessed.